a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Flora Sands Flora Sands was a British woman who served as an officer of the Royal Serbian Army in World War I. She was the only British woman officially to serve as a soldier in World War I. Initially a St. John Ambulance volunteer. She travelled to the Kingdom of Serbia, where she was welcomed and formally enrolled in the Serbian Army. She was subsequently promoted to the rank of Sergeant Major, and, after the war, to Captain. She was decorated with seven medals. Early Life Flora Sands was born on the 22nd of January 1876 in Nether Poppleton, Yorkshire, the youngest daughter of an Irish family. Her father was Samuel Dixon Sands, the former rector of Whitchurch, County Cork. And her mother was Sophia Julia. When she was nine years old, the family moved to Marlesford, Suffolk, and later to Thornton Heath, near Croydon, Surrey. As a child she was educated by governesses. She enjoyed riding and shooting and said that she wished she had been born a boy. She learned to drive, and drove an old French racing car. She took a job as a secretary. In her spare time Sands trained with the First Aid Nursing Yeomanry. Founded in 1907, as an all-women mounted paramilitary organization, learning first aid, horsemanship, signaling and drill. She left the Fanny in 1910 joining another renegade Fanny, Mabel St. Clair Stobart, in the formation of the Women's Sick and Wounded Convoy. The convoy saw service in Serbia and Bulgaria in 1912 during the First Balkan War. At the outbreak of the First World War in 1914 she volunteered to become a nurse, but was rejected due to a lack of qualifications. Military career Sands nonetheless joined a St. John Ambulance unit raised by American nurse Mabel Grouwich, and on 12 August 1914 left England for Serbia with a group of 36 women to try to aid the humanitarian crises there. They arrived at the town of Krogujevots which was the base for the Serbian forces fighting against the Austro-Hungarian offensive. Sands joined the Serbian Red Cross and worked in an ambulance for the 2nd Infantry Regiment of the Serbian Army. In 1914 she went riding with a Serbian soldier who, impressed with her equestrian skills, told her she was wasted as a nurse, and should enlist as a soldier. She told Dr. Isabel Emsley, I've always wished to be a soldier and to fight. In 1915 Sands struggled persistently to get to the front, eventually joining the ambulance of the 2nd Regiment at the Babuna Pass. During the Great Retreat through Albania, all the other ambulance staff fled or were killed. Sands could no longer make herself useful as a nurse and was enrolled as a private by General Milos Vazitz. She quickly advanced to the rank of corporal. She recounted later that to formalize the change she removed her Red Cross badge and replaced it with the brass regimental figures from Colonel Milik Sepilets. In 1916, during the Serbian advance on Bitola, Sands was seriously wounded by a grenade in hand-to-hand -hand combat. She subsequently received the highest decoration of the Serbian military the Order of the Karadord Star. At the same time, she was promoted to the rank of Sergeant Major. Also in 1916, Sands published her autobiography, An English Woman Sergeant in the Serbian Army, based on her letters and diaries. She used this account to help her raise funds for the Serbian Army. With Evelina Haverfield she founded the Honorable Evelina Haverfields and Sergeant Major Flora Sands Fund for promoting comforts for Serbian soldiers and prisoners. Unable to continue fighting due to her injury, she spent the remainder of the war running a hospital. At the end of the war she was commissioned as an officer, making her simultaneously the Serbian Army's first female and first foreign officer. She was finally demobilized in October 1922. Later Life In May 1927, Sands married Yuri Udinic, a fellow officer and former White Army General. The couple lived for a time in France, but afterwards returned to Serbia, and settled in Belgrade, among other jobs. Sands drove Belgrade's first taxicab. Also in 1927, she published a second autobiography. She lectured extensively on her wartime experiences in the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, France, Canada, 
and the United States. She wore her military uniform while delivering her lectures. When Germany launched its attack on Yugoslavia in April 1941, Sanz and Judnich were recalled to military service. But the invasion was over before they could take up any military duties. They were briefly interned by the Germans, before being released on parole. Judnich fell ill, was removed to hospital and died there in September 1941. Sand subsequently returned to England. She spent the last years of her life in Suffolk, living near Wickham Market. She died in Bury St Edmunds at the West Suffolk Hospital on 24 November 1956. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?